Okay, so let's look at this. <coughs> I've got tension one. You know, this is tension, so it definitely has to be an upward force, right? So I've got some force acting this way. T1 at zero from the left side, right? Let's torque this thing about the left side. Okay, and then T2 is here, and presumably T2 is a bigger force. So T2 is seven. Okay, so it's at seven meters from the left side, right? Well, we've got the force of gravity on the beam, which is going to be right at the center. Is that the center right there? So we've got 112 G at, uh, let's see, it's 12 meters long. So this would be six meters from the left side. From the left. From the left. All right, and then here's this person. So let's draw the, um, so that's going to be 72 G. And then the person is four from the right side. So let's see if it's eight, if it's 12 meters long and they're four from the right side, then they are eight from the left side. So eight meters from the left. All right. So now we've got all of our four forces, right? So let's set up our Y expression. Right, uh, we've got T1 acting upward. We've got the weight of the beam acting downward. So minus 112 times 9.8. And that's what I mean by this, that's 9.81. Right, uh, the next one we've got is uh, T2, so plus T2. Uh, it doesn't matter obviously what order you put them in. I just go left to right. Uh, and then we have minus uh, 72 G and then that's gonna be zero, okay? And then let's set up a torque expression. Okay, so I'm going to torque about the left side here. Um, if I torque about the left side, what is it, hun? Oh, I'm being called, but I'm going to keep torquing here. If I torque about the left side, I can eliminate a variable, right? So I'm going to go zero times T1. Okay. Um, and then, uh, so, so, you know, it doesn't actually fall into the equation. And then I've got a positive torque here. So plus six times 112 G. Uh, then I've got T2. So I've got, that's a negative torque. Cause this guy would torque it anti-clockwise. So minus seven times T2. Uh, this would be a clockwise torque. So plus, how far are they? Eight meters. Cause they are four from the right, so they're eight from the left, right? So eight times uh, 72 G. <coughs> Again, these G's are 9.81. Okay. Um, now this is of course solvable, so let me just solve this thing. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go six times 112 times 9.81 plus eight times 72 times 9.81, and there's uh, that answer. And then I'm gonna divide that by, I guess, seven. Take a T2, 1748.98.98 newtons, right? Which is roughly 1750, right? And the fact that it's positive means that it's up. Of course, these have to be positive because they're tensions, right? Okay. Okay, so now let's solve this guy here. So we've got T1 minus 112 times 9.8, which I'm just abbreviating that way, right? Plus uh, T2, which is 1748.98, et cetera, et cetera, right? Uh, minus 72G. Is zero now I can solve for T1. I think I know what to do. I think I'm going to do this 112 times 9.81 plus 72 times 9. Let me subtract that guy. <clears throat> and I get 56.057. Uh, okay, so T1 is just barely positive, right? Uh, if he stood a little bit farther to the right, this thing would start to pivot around that. That would be kind of exciting. Okay, so 56.057. Uh, 
uh, Newton's. The fact that it's positive means it's up. All right. Let me draw a picture of a small dog. Arf, needs an exclamation point. <laughs> 